Hi, and welcome to my YouTube video. Today we are going to have a little look at The Sims 3. Here in Denmark the, the game uh, was released to the stores yesterday and I have been playing it all night. Let's get this game running. Uh, we are going to demonstrate several parts of the game today. We are going to demonstrate how to create a sim, and we are going to demonstrate a little bit about how to build a house, and to play with the sim in this house. So we'll do a little cutting, but we won't cut the loading times out, because they are very important this time. So this movie here will just skip, because we only have 10 minutes. I'm uh, running this game on my Mac Mini. You can find the specifications on the description to your right. If you're on YouTube. And uh, my game here is uh, loading in on Danish and I'll try to translate the words as good as I can. Or else you just must use your eyes a little bit and try and translate for yourself. So now it's about time to create a new game, and for the first, uh, when you uh, start it the first time, it'll look a little bit about like this. It'll change you when you have some games to play. When you buy the game, you get a, another town downloaded automatically, Riverview. I'll just try and play that today. So now I'll click here on the great large button, and now it'll load in the whole Riverview uh, neighborhood. And while it's loading, we get these game tips, but they aren't really changing that much. You may see two or three different, um, and that's probably just it. I haven't seen much more than that. Uh, I've re been reading in a lot of forums around, and uh, it seems like a lot of gamers uh, think uh, this game is more difficult than the other. It's uh, The Sims 2. And um, in some point I, I will agree, but uh, when you get the hang of it, uh, you'll just feel it all natural. But stay tuned to my YouTube channel, because more videos from The Sims 3 will be released. So, now we're here, we have the neighborhood loaded in, and I can tell you right now, it's not that very pretty. Um, it will get when uh, you get a bit, when, when you see the videos from my PC, well, uh, where I'm going to do the rest of the demos. Uh, first time you load in the neighborhood, it'll start some training thing. Um, to end that first time, just uh, click the three uh, buttons down here and click Edit City. And just uh, leave training. So now uh, we have left the training and we are ready to start. I'll just click the button up there and now we are ready. I'll click here on Create a Sim and the Create a Sim will load in. I'm not going to demonstrate the whole part and all the clothes here, so this is going, just going to be brief and I'll build my simmer. Um, so here we are, name, gender, age, skin color, body modifications, whatever you like. Um, and here you can just, and a lot of other things. I'll get back to these things later in my future videos. Uh, the most interesting part in this game is these personality traits um, that you can add. Here is one, never naked. Uh, that will mean your sim doesn't like to be nude and when he goes to a shower he will wear some kind of underwear. Um, here is another one. I think the best way to translate it is a party monkey. They love parties and they can't get enough of them. And like this, there is over 70 personality traits. So now I'll just create my sim and uh, I will return to you when I have created my sim. So now I'll just get an overview here of the family and I'll just click OK. So now the computer will generate this family for me and now I am in the neighborhood. From here it has already helped me a large amount. It's showing me all the houses and lots that I can get. And if I point at them, I can see if I can buy them without any furniture and or with. There is something here with some furniture. Let's just try and take that. So we'll just click approve. And now it's going to load in this house. And we'll see if we need to make any adjustments here. So, now we are inside the house and we are ready to play. Uh, let me just start by demoing a few of these build options. 
We'll just start by removing this garage here. So we can get some money to work with here. We will all that. And uh, this is pretty much as we know it from Sims 2, if you have played that. Uh, I'm just holding control down on my keyboard here um, to remove these walls. And the same thing I'm going to do to remove the floor. Uh, okay, would you mind uh, there? So now I have removed that. Let's try and see if we can remove that as well. Um, maybe that's gonna be another day. I don't know why something here is just a bit larger. Great. That gave a little money to work with here, so we can uh, upgrade things around here in the house. I'm just going to return to the live mode here and. Um, just loading a bit here, and I'll, I have just paused the game. Uh, I have turned my sim into a very floating sim. She's a good kisser, she's a lithic, she's very kind and lucky. Um, so let's get on with the inside of the house. I'll just show you a little bit about the build. Uh, notice that everything has been categorized a little bit different, so now you really have to be a little bit more precise about how you strike these things down here. Um, she don't have anything to change the clothing at. Let's give her one of those, if I can find them. There. So we'll just give her something, and in this game there really is a reason for not just buying the worst thing. Um, because if you have a bad shower, for instance, they... Uh, they will tell you that they are unhappy with the cold water coming from the shower. Um, so just don't buy the cheapest thing you can find around, uh, because that will give your sim a bad mood. Uh, right now it's just going to be a little performance demonstration, so uh, let's just try and uh, keep up here and let's go to the city. Let's go down and buy some books. Let's go down here to this bookshop. And just for the little help here, I'm going to bring up a little cheat panel here and I'll type FPS on. That'll show you a little frames per second counter over here to your right. Uh, so now my sim is waiting for a cab and uh, it should arrive shortly. There it comes. And now I'm just going to zoom a little bit out here and notice the frame rate up there and notice the sim, uh, the sim how it renders on this Mac Mini. Because now I am flying basically through the neighborhood here. Um, the, the real challenge for the Mac is not when you walk around the city or drive around the city. The real issue is when you actually have to use the ability of jumping through time very quickly and using these uh, down here. So now we're downtown and there is a couple of sims down here. Now we can buy some books. We can buy some recipes for food, we can buy some uh, some skills, we can buy something about music, and we can buy pretty much everything. So let's try and go over here, there's a museum over here to the, to the left of us, to the left. So let's try and go over there and uh, just notice that the Mac Mini just literally crashes through, through this. There is only a little uh, bad performance here. It, it, when they released The Sims 3, they claimed they had no rendering times or no loading times or anything, but on a slower system like the Mac Mini here, it actually has some loading times. In these very, very large areas, the game really doesn't perform that very well, uh, as you probably have noticed. Uh, that really could have been better. Um, I, I really think my Mac um, should have been doing this better. I'm disappointed. Um, but I think that was a little bit about how the Mac Mini performance in The Sims 3 uh, 